what I need from you now is questions. Ah, yes, you with the details. I want to be the very best like no one ever, no one ever was. How do I do that? All right, so he's looking to be, and he didn't specify in what area, but he wants to be the best. Uh, how can we help him out? Practice. Yeah, practice makes perfect. That makes sense? Yeah. Good solid answer. Right off the bat. Kind of giving time for the bad advice to kind of think of something on the fly. Bad advice, you got something? Practice takes a long time. So I recommend something that takes slightly less time because you're all about, all about being efficient. Just murder everyone who is better than you currently. And no one will be better than you ever. All right, so, yeah. And, uh, what a jump from go to. I think I would have to say it's really bad advice, kind of like borderline ugly. So let's see what ugly has to say. I doubt this. <laughs> <laughs> no, never specified what you want to be the best at, right? Mm -hmm. So you know what you should do? Find something no one else will do. No, nothing, no one else will do and become the best at that and get rid of the competition. As okay. like intentional work. Yeah. So we let us use our imagination to what the best at that actually is. Thank you, <laughs> Donnie. Like, be the Fred, best at being the best. So, so, I was going to say, I think the difference between bad advice and ugly advice is that bad advice is like a step down from ugly advice. No, no, bad advice you can follow, but you're not going to get results. Ugly advice is like, it just, ooh. Yeah, like murdering people. Ugly advice would be more like, you're trying to do it, but it's a god awful thing to try. Yeah, like murdering people. No, that's bad. That's ugly. That's ugly. Ah, yeah, bra. I can't afford a car, and I have to go to work. What should I do? Alright, so he is having some automobile issues and some currency issues and does not have the cash to buy a car. What's he going to do with transportation? Well, if you have a lot of good friends, you can ask them for a ride. See if you can try to carpool and make it up to them in some way. That's always an option. Uh, you know, you can also take, uh, if you have a bike, you can take a healthier route to work and bike to work. Oh. Just got illegal probably a bit earlier than you would have, but yeah. Good solid advice. <laughs> Not only do you have a way to work, but you can work on those those games and games. Alright, so Look, bad advice. No, no, because you want to drive, right? I mean that's the thing, is you want a car you can drive. So there's places outside of the base constantly that will give you a loan no matter what. <laughs> yes, it's true that after about 30 days I'll probably repossess the car, but there are other places that will guarantee give you some sort of loan and give you a car. So you just kind of start car hopping around those areas. Yeah. <laughs> That's the results right there. And ugly. Now, you say you need a car to get to work, right? Just, well, so if you remove the work aspect, you don't need a car. Right? <laughs> That's what I mean by ugly. Right? Two wrongs don't Okay, yeah, yeah, but, 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 but no murder. Murder is ugly. Yeah, murder is ugly. I'm saying so you should go for like sidestepping, not escalation. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take, uh, last question. Uh, yes, you, the uh, fedora. Yeah. No, wait. So... I've got my, my scholarship was taken away from me and I don't know how to finish out my last semester of school. What can I do to pay for my classes? Ah, uh, that's a great question. Uh, a lot of students have <laughs> <struggle> with <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, Are we good to skip the years of the uh, so How should she really pay for school? Uh, and uh, I, I guess, assuming that you're already locked into your classes, um, I guess I guess your only recourse, if you really just if you just can't cover it, is to uh, maybe maybe find a friend or a family member that or somebody that can help pitch in, uh, take out a few loans. I mean, your education loans. You you will get accepted uh, by someone. Um, yeah, it's a really tough situation, but yeah, I'll just try to scrounge up as much as you can. Prince, Prince, can we go back at this? Well, yeah. um, you know, it's all good and everything, but you really don't want 
your your family and everyone to to know your your troubles. Okay, you, you want to be that that great student, right? So you know what you need to do. You need to just go to like payday loans or something, and just, and just get just go for they they will give you a loan no problem. They don't need anyone else to sign it or anything. <laughs> so you need money for school. I know he needs money for a car. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of airmen that need money. So what you do is you start an escort service. <laughs>questions for these lovely gentlemen because we're chock full of advice. Yes, you with the flamingo. Yes, uh, I, w I want to make some more money and how, how can I uh, try to <laughs> <laughs> try to get a, a promotion? Ah, okay, so he's looking for some career progression and uh, looks like more responsibilities and more pay. So how do we, how do, we do this? Thing? Well, don't join an escort service. Let's start there. <laughs> But no, if, you were, if you're looking to get a promotion in your career field especially, you want to go ahead and research as much of what you guys do from people who have been doing it longer than you. See how they got to their positions and then kind of model your career after that. Think, you know what I'm saying, outside of the box with it. You know what I mean? Hopefully that works for you. Yeah. Good creative answer. I mean, I guess, but that sounds like a lot of work. Am I right? <laughs> so, what you want to do, and I've seen this happen, all right, <laughs> so you can bet that it'll work. You just take credit for what everybody else is talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, 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 I yes, that is, that is solid and bad advice. Shit, I'm gonna home. Where's Walker? <laughs> well, those are both kind of good ideas. I would really say, like, you want the promotion for more money, right? <laughs> Stay away from work, all right? Go home, go to like the bad neighborhood, kind of around in your town, all right? Make some friends there. They're going to be into drugs, okay? That's just how they all kind of mingle, how that all works, all right? You get in with them, you start selling, and you don't need the promotion. You just work your way up that ladder. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That seems like a more manageable ladder. I'm <laughs> sorry, that's more manageable. <laughs> I've never played this game before. Uh, yes, you have the tentacles. Yes, thank you. Um, so, so I have I have a baby, and he started crawling oh, around quite quite adventurous. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did you get this Brody baby? <laughs> <laughs> so I have this baby, and he's very adventurous. Keeps climbing all over the place. Uh, the tentacles. And, and crawling right? around. But yes, I'm Octo Dad. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, what 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 should I what can, what should I do to keep him um, from hurting himself potentially? Ah, uh, uh, babies good. climbing, crawling, grabbing. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, climbing baby. How do I baby proof my place? Baby with hands and feet and likes to be mobile. I got it. So yeah, got some good advice for that. Get back tentacles, little. Well, if you shop around, do some online research, really, there's plenty of options out there for you. There's really, like, child-proof, child-safe everything. I mean, child-safe locks, the toys, you know, without, like, sharp edges and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do a good kind of, like, look around your house as well. Use those tentacles and just kind of move things out of the way <laughs> that would kind of, you know, could be potentially dangerous, really. Great advice. Solid advice. No, I like that. I like what he was talking about, but as we said before, time, money, that's a lot. What you do is you go on Gumtree, right? Yeah. You find somebody who will take your baby. Now, obviously, you're attached to it. You don't want to just give it away to some random stranger. Yeah. So you have like a five, ten minute conversation with this person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then you just hand the baby to him and you check on him like once a year. <laughs> adoption! Yes, good adoption! All right, I mean, I guess that could work, okay? But, like, here's a foolproof plan. It'll work on any baby, no matter how many appendages it has. <laughs> you get one of those dog crates? <laughs> just lock it up. Yes, you little girl. My son keeps posting posts. <laughs> He's what? Posting pro-Trump things on Instagram. Oh. This is like a legit question. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do I do? Okay, so... <laughs> Rosie's son is uh, post, posting pro-Trump things. That's kind of like a tongue twister. Pro-Trump Trump thing. 
pro Trump, Trump trend? He's a trumpet. Pro Trump <laughs> posting. Pro Pro Trump posting. Yes. Yes. All right. So, well, uh, he, he sounds like a pretty impressionable young man. I I don't want to I don't want to make any kind of political statement while I'm up here, but uh, a lot of what uh, at least what I've seen uh, it's the supporters that, you know of Trump. Uh, a lot of their ideas are derived from a lack of information. So what you want to do is like maybe take some time with him and like kind of educate him on like the political system and like who else is running and and how how he can better form his own ideals because uh, especially with like young kids, whatever they see in the media or on Facebook, they're just liable to go along with. So just kind of be like, hey, this isn't this isn't how it's supposed to work and. <laughs> I mean, it, it's kind of a, a bad... <laughs> uh, like I said, I don't want to make any statements about uh, our current political predicament in the U.S., but... Uh, the cluster farm is <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, just, you know, kind of educate him more on, uh, on how it works and why his ideals are asinine. <laughs> You've never met a 16-year-old boy, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's difficult, but... <laughs> Good, good, solid advice. Educate. That's you know, path that some people th seem to take. So, Bad well, advice. I know my colleague kind of danced around the subject of Trump is an idiot. Okay, <laughs> and he is. He is. All right, we can all admit it. He is. All right. And if you don't agree with that, I'm sorry, you're wrong. But okay, there's some stuff that you can do with your child. It's kind of fallen down as time has progressed, but you can bring it right back. Okay, there's switches. <laughs> As well as the good old belt, okay? You just, I mean, they can only understand so much. Education, yes, it's important, but I mean, it's 16 year old, he's not really gonna understand so much, so you gotta just. <laughs> that's, that's my yeah. advice. Just, okay, yeah. A little TLC uh, a Tinder, leather, and uh, cloth. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what? Um, I actually, believe it or not, I, I actually agree with him. <laughs> Education is very important, but at 16, kind of far along, so you're going to need some more hands-on in your face type stuff. And different opinions are also important. Now, nine times out of ten, if you're voting for Donald Trump, you're probably not from an, from an impoverished black neighborhood. So what you do <laughs> is you bring him to the worst neighborhood you can possibly find. You want to find out some of the gang culture around there, dress him in the opposite color, and just leave him there. So we can get different opinions on different things from other people. And it saves you from going to prison for beating him, because they'll do it for you. Yeah!